Alaikum and peace be with you. Good evening. Uh, Eid Mubarak for Muslims who celebrate today as the conclusion of the month of Ramadan. So happy Eid for those who celebrated the Eid uh, today. And I would like to say thank you for our guests and friends who decided to join us tonight as we conclude one month, one month of fasting. You know, the purpose of fasting is supposed to teach us how to be patient and keep a smile on our face. As you abstain from food and drinks from dawn to dusk, sometimes you feel anxious, especially when you like your coffee or cigarette. <laughs> This Ramadan, God wanted to test our patience really hard. Unfortunately, from the beginning of this month until now, as Muslims were seeking peace and spirituality through fasting, they listened and they watched an aggressive attack on our faith and also on our, on our community. But we try to keep that a smile on our face and to respond in the best of our manners if we can. Unfortunately, there was an incident in Madeira where there was an attack on an Islamic center in Madeira. This I, this act created fear among the Muslim community. The fear that maybe other centers will be targeted too. And we thought this kind of messages promoted in the media, locally and nationwide, might create a wave of hatred against Muslims. But the other side of, this, of the story is that we were overwhelmed with the support of dear brothers and sisters like you. It gave us a sense of strength and power and not to feel that we are alone in our struggle for our civil rights. And today, this event really is about religious freedom and civil rights. You decided to come, to come here to protect the civil rights and religious freedom of all Americans, no matter of their color, religion, language, culture, and background. And this is something deserve a true celebration, that there are noble Americans, I think all Americans, except very few, all Americans are good, hearted people, fundamentally good, just like Muslims. And this is the spirit that we are celebrating today. As we pray for the souls lost on September 11, <clears throat> we condemn terrorism. The 9-11 attacks was not an Islamic act. It was not an act of Islam, it was the act of Al-Qaeda. A small, very, very small group of extremists who, who have hijacked our faith. And they are acting in the name of our faith and community. Muslims rejected this act, and they continue to reject it. Amer Muslims, uh, American Muslims, are proud of their home, they love it, they contribute to the well-being of this country and, and this home, and they celebrate with other Americans <clears throat> the spirit of our Constitution, the rights that our Constitution offers to every single American, including the religious freedom and, and civil rights. Today, brothers and sisters, Regardless of your background or your faith, I know friends who are Christians, Jews, Muslims, 
Buddhist, Sikh, Hindu, you name it. I'm sorry if I'm missing one. Many of you are here and we are proud of your friendship. We are proud of your support. I would like to conclude by giving you a, a very small example how Muslims are contributing to the welfare of this society here locally. I'm not talking about nationwide. There are about 120 physicians who are Muslims in Fresno, Clovis, and Madeira. Every physician, on average, they treat about 2,000 patients a year. So Muslims are saving about a quarter, the life of a quarter million people in our area by treating them, caring about the loved one, and caring about our children. This is only one example. And today, we are here tonight to celebrate this fact and to tell you that Muslims, physicians that are among you tonight, and nurses who would do anything they can to protect this land, to protect their home. May God bless you. May God protect America. Thank you very much.